Welcome to Scatter Travel TV. I'm Debbie Gerber. Today we're going to talk about traveling to Las Vegas with kids. You know, 30 years ago when I took my children to Las Vegas, they had just introduced the kid-friendly Las Vegas, and there were so many things to do. There used to be uh, out in Henderson area, you could go and there was a marshmallow factory and a cranberry, the ocean spray factory and the Disney factory. And there's all these things that you could take and the Ethel M. Chocolate factory. And there's all these things that you could take your kids through. We were really sad to find out that the marshmallow factory is no longer there, that um, the ocean spray factory, the Disney, all of those things that we used to take the kids out to in Henderson are gone. But there is still the Ethel M. Chocolate Factory. And I have to say, we didn't do it this time, but go out there. It is fun. They have an awesome cactus garden to walk through that's all marked with the species and the name and all that kind of stuff. As well as, you, as you walk through the chocolate factory, you can watch them making the chocolates. And I always love factory tours for kids. One, it's educational. It takes a bit of time. So you actually get to, you know, do something with them. And uh, besides learning something, it's interesting to them. And then at the end, they let you sample one. So that, again, is another fun thing. Some of the other ones that we did hear about that we haven't been to other than Ethel M that are now open in Vegas is there's supposed to be a dairy farm tour. So if you're not from dairy farm area or would like your kids to see that, that one should be really fun. I think we're going to try that while we're here. And also the downtown area has a covered area. It's called Fremont Street. It's completely covered. And there is a light show in that cover at night. Quite spectacular. That's another thing that would be really fun to take kids to that enjoy that. Go early just after dusk and see the early show. Also on the strip, about halfway down the strip is a is the... Uh, Hawaiian Village Shopping Center. The Hawaiian Village Shopping Center, they have acts that come into there. Like there's a bird person that comes there and brings and shows the birds and there's little bands. And uh, it's it's really fun. It's decorated. It's a fun place to go shopping just to take your kids on down, down the strip. And don't forget the half price ticket booths or, you know, if you don't use that, at least go to a show. They now have things like Lion King, and I know Phantom's here, but it's leaving. But they have some really awesome ma magic shows and things that are, are kid-appropriate as well. Just double-check that, because we did take our kids last time we were down to a show that said it was general audience, but it still was really risque. So if you're taking children, double-check that uh, it is kid-appropriate before you take them. As well as on the strip, you had Circus Circus, and you had Excalibur with all of the little acts. And, you know, there was just a lot of really cool things for them to see. We just returned from Las Vegas with our grandchildren, thinking that it would be much the same. We have found out that in Las Vegas, they are now changing back to more of an adult um, environment and getting rid of a lot of the children activities. We did stay at Excalibur, which is a really cute, nice hotel. Um, we loved the rooms. Uh, I was a little disappointed that our room was a shower only and not a bathtub because that's difficult. So when you're looking, if you're taking children, be sure that you have a bathtub in your room before you, before you book your room because that can be essential for some families. I know it was difficult for us without that bathtub and three little kids. Uh, like I said, Excalibur is a great hotel in looks. It has um, a, it's called the Dungeon, and it is an arcade. It's quite big. Uh, it's probably secondary to the arcades in Las Vegas to Circus Circus arcades. They have the same kinds of games and um, things to play down in the arcade as well as machines. The only downside was that we went to the floor where years before there was always artists doing caricatures. There was uh, like jugglers and um, gymnasts and all kinds of things going on. There were little acts that were entertainment and you could go and see. And they had taken that out and there was a bar there. So the only thing that was on that floor really were uh, the restaurants there. Although they did have several restaurants uh, there that were family friendly. 
We also took our kids to, our grandkids to Medieval Times. Medieval Times is something that is very enjoyable for the entire family. They have got one scene in there where the dragons come down and they're just guys dressed up with these these head things on that make them look really scary. And, and our one grandson just, the guy popped up right in front of him and scared him and um, that was a little traumatic. He got over it fairly soon, but it's a really, really good family show. A lot of fun. Uh, talk to your kids before you go so that they understand that this medieval times is an actual period of history where people ate with their hands. Um, they drank out of mugs. You know, they had these battles between the knights and the good and the evil and that kind of thing so that they kind of have a starting point if you have younger children. The food was excellent. There was a lot of it. There was plenty to eat, and it was very good. So we thoroughly enjoyed that part. Uh, then we decided to take the kids on down to Circus Circus. At Circus Circus, we went to the Adventure Dome. Again, for far small children, if they are afraid of all, of like things that turn upside down or spin in circles, you know, it was. I felt it was more like teenage rides rather than little kid rides. There was a few, but not many, that I thought were for our small children. I do have to compliment um, the Adventure Dome in Circus Circus for the fact that they had these stage acts. And, and the day we were there, there were three of them. And so here was a performing group up on the stage performing, and it was great music. It was kids, teenage kids. It was fun for the kids to watch. It was a good experience, musical experience for our children uh, as well. So we really enjoyed having the having that as part of the entertainment that was in Adventure Dome. This performance was from Center Stage Music School, the elite team from Quincy, Illinois. They did enjoy. We went up to the Circus Circus. Uh, area where they do the circus acts. Every half an hour there was a new circus act. They were short, uh, like one act uh, circus acts, but they were really fun. They thoroughly enjoyed that. You'll want to go a little bit early to get seats because the seats fill up just like super fast. And then you're standing if you can see from, from a standing place. So go and do the circus acts and then around where the circus acts are, are all of the games that can be played in arcade areas and games and and it's a fun atmosphere for kids that was really good then we went over to we took the kids over to the Bellagio now one of the things that we had explained to the kids is we were going to see these floors made in little mini tiles and so it was like mosaics all over the floors and so we gave them a camera and let them take pictures of the floors we took them to the largest chocolate fountain fountain in the world and you've got gallons and gallons of chocolate filtering through and coming down these beautiful glass bowls that they fill and then uh, go down. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And then we let them have one of the treats from the case and they had these beautiful fun little desserts and that had chocolate, you know, and so it was really a fun that was a fun outing for them, but mostly due to the prior preparation. We also had talked to them about the beautiful garden that they do in the atrium of, of the hotel there, and it was beautiful. We loved the Bellagio, again, just because mostly they enjoyed it because of prior talking to them about it, so they got an idea of it. Some of the other things you can see, but again, it's mostly at night, is the pirate show at Treasure Island. You can see the water show out front at the Bellagio, the fountains at the Bellagio. We also took them over to the Aria, the new hotel at City Center. Uh, again, it's how you prepare your kids for how much fun it is. We took them over there by taking, going from the Bellagio on the Sky Tram over to City Center. The Sky Tram was probably more fun than anything we did. They thought that was just the greatest to go and ride on this thing that was up in the sky on this rail. Our kids are from a small community. But that was fun, but mostly because we told them it was going to be really fun to go on it. They loved riding the escalators up and down. So you can make simple things really fun for your kids if you just make it sound like it's going to be fun and tell them how great it is and what a great experience it's going to be and then Take them on it. 
and they just have fun because you said it was going to be fun and you make it exciting. So that was really cool. And then they have two different water fountains in the front of the Aria that are worth going to see. They have a small fountain. Well, I call it small. Compared to Bellagio, it's small. But it's just a fountain around a circular uh, drive area right in front of Aria. But it does a these these waters come up in this fountain and they come up and they clash and they're colored and even in the daytime it was fascinating we probably were there for 15 minutes just watching the continual fountain going off and with the colors and the different things that it did and then there is the wall the wall waterfall that goes completely down one side of a wall on the outside of aria and if you stand there and watch it changes how the water comes down it doesn't just fall all the time at the same rate. Sometimes it's coming across sideways. Sometimes it comes down in a pattern. But it's really fun. And our kids just loved watching that and dipping their fingers in the water. Uh, that was just kind of really fun. And they love going and seeing the fountains and the waterfalls. If Another fun thing um, is that they each had their own suitcase. And so everywhere we'd go, you know, if we were changing hotels or going in and out, Away they went. So they had a stuffed animal, which made them feel more easy and at home with where they were at. So they all carried their little stuffed animal. And then by the time we were done with Circus Circus and and uh, Excalibur, they had more than one that they were carrying. But they had that, and then they had their pillow pets because that was their pillow. But that made them feel more at home in a hotel or a place away from home. And then they'd get... Uh, age-appropriate size suitcases, depending on the age of the child. Don't overload it because they do get tired really fast. But they have a blast pulling their suitcase around and, and being a part of having this trip experience. When it comes to food and children in Las Vegas, there are so many choices. Of course, there are the buffets that cater to all ages. We decided that we wanted to do something simple so things like McDonald's are in several of the hotels and in the areas there are little cafes and they have children's sized things um, one of the things that we really enjoyed is we went to Denny's and they had these stacks of pancakes for two bucks and the kids were like they thought this was just the greatest thing because here's these huge pancakes and they each get two of them and and then we gave them their little drinks with it and stuff. And, and that, again, was special to them because they got something that they wouldn't normally get at home or in a restaurant that they would go to. So find something that's unique and different and makes it special for them but cheap for you. And that makes your vacation all the more easier and, again, less expensive. What makes or breaks any vacation with children is the amount of time that you spend one-on-one -on -one talking with them. If you can communicate with them and talk with them and let them know that you're there with them having those experiences and that you listen to the things that they like and that they want and listen to things that they have to say, that's what will make a memorable vacation anywhere in the world with your children or grandchildren. And that also goes for making a great couple's vacation. It's the amount of time that you spend actually considering the other person and having interaction with each other. Even though they've taken out some of the things for children, there are always things to do. Las Vegas is a very happening place with lots of activities. Just simple things even like taking them swimming in the swimming pool makes their day. That was one of the fun things that we did with them was go swimming. That's something that they want to do like every day. So that was an important thing to have a swimming pool where we were. But remember, there are so many things. There are shows for kids. There are activities for kids. There's the Adventure Dome. There's just so many things in Las Vegas that you can do with kids that's exciting and fun. So have a fun vacation in Las Vegas. It's a great place to go. Come on over to www.scattertravel.tv and join us there for more travel tips, destination information, and discounts on travel. Come and see what we have to offer for you today.